Hi everyone, welcome to Camille's Holistic Health Show. I'm Dr. Cam, and today we're going to talk about collagen and its healthy benefits. And if you are suffering with aging, wrinkling skin, sagging skin, or joint pain or muscle aches, then this video can really help you. Um, we're going to get into collagen, some of the supplements, uh, how collagen can affect your body, and different types of foods that can really help you with uh, staying healthy, staying healthy, staying strong, and um, yeah, avoiding the aging process that so many people are looking for, looking for more of a youthful uh, appearance and adding more vitality to your health feeling good every day and being able to get up and walk around without any pain, without any uh, back pain, uh, joint pain, and muscle aches. Okay, so if this is a really interesting video for you and you are looking for other videos just like this, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell to get notified every time I have a new video coming out. So let's get into some of the collagen benefits for your overall wellness. So the signs of aging can really slow the development of our body over time. And anti-aging processes are uh, something that everybody is really looking for and honing in on. And it, the aging process is really something that is inevitable. And we know this, but there are things that we can do to help uh, our body and uh, sustain uh, youthful uh, appearance and overall strength and uh, vitality. So all you really need to know and understand is that collagen um, or the lack of is really responsible for our deterioration of the things that go goes on in our body, our connected tissue really. And collagen functions as a scaffolding for our body, our entire body. And it is a fibrous protein that is a constituent for our cartilage, our bone, our skin, our muscles, tendons, joints, okay? And our overall connective tissue. So collagen really functions as an agent or a protective agent really to help with uh, things that uh, break down over time, like our joints and synovial fluid or the fluid between our joints. And that helps lubricate our joints uh, so we are able to move, bend, stretch, and, and walk and run. So, you know, the depletion of this uh, collagen, which is type 1, type 2, and type 3, type 1 and 3 being the skin, the muscles, and the bone, and type 2 being our cartilage and our joints. So over time, as we age, because we know that as we age, things start to break down, uh, our collagen or our cells uh, that produce collagen no longer go to that area and work like they should and they deteriorate over time or they slow down over time. As aging process, everything slows down over time. But remember, there are always things that you can work on to help your body and to sometimes you have to take your health into your own hands and do things that can really uh, give you that overall wellness especially when you are yearning to get outside and um, garden or do things around the house, uh, walk your grandkids or your kids, um, and you can't, and you feel, uh, you know, um, bogged down by the fact that you aren't able to function like you used to. 
So we are going into collagen and the connective tissue is really what is important here. And uh, the women that I work with are mainly ones that have vascular diseases or collagen vascular diseases that actually affects the immune system and the malfunction really of these structures. And when we're looking at certain types of cardiovascular diseases, we're talking about lupus or things like rheumatoid arthritis, scleroderma, and polyarthritis nodosa, things like that, that affect the joints, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, and things like, uh, uh, lost my train of thought here, uh, and scleroderma that really affects um, the connective tissue, and lupus that really affects uh, autoimmune uh, but affects the organs like the kidneys, the joints, the skin, and other areas or organs that affect the connective tissue. So it's all about focusing on, you know, the vitality and maintaining the immune system because that's where everything lies. When we get older, our immune system tends to decrease, and these things like uh, connective tissue, connective tissue vascular diseases, uh, aging process, everything starts to slow down, and more diseases start to appear, more chronic conditions start to occur. So when we are going through the aging process between 40 years old and 60. Collagen is essential. And we're going to go into now some of the amazing uh, collagen supplements that I find are really beneficial for our overall health. Uh, if it's something that you are willing to really do um, take collagen. You can take it in pill form. You can take it in powder form. That's um, something I find a lot of people do is take collagen in protein powders, in collagen protein powders, in uh, smoothies. Uh, you can sprinkle it on your salads, things like that. So let's get into some of the collagen supplements. These brands I've chosen that I think are really great for if you're looking for the benefit and that instant uh, effect over time, I think uh, collagen supplements are definitely something that you can take um, some do some research and figure out whether it's something that you are willing to uh, use to improve your collagen uh, function of your connective tissue. So Pure Call, which is P-U-R-E-C-O-L, that is definitely one of the brands I find that is really top of the line right now. And then Collagen Plus that is a definitely one you want to take a look at as well. And then Pure Logic Collagen Capsules, that's one that I find is really great. And Genicol Bioactive Collagen Complex Supplement. So those are the types of uh, supplements that are available on the market today. Um, they are all replenishable. You can always get another uh, bottle when you need them or when you run out of it. And it helps with the skin, the joints staying strong and nourishing your entire body and getting amazing results. So let's get into some of the foods that can really promote collagen production and uh, bring back that vitality that is needed 
for that overall wellness that you're looking for, that you're searching for when it comes to your tendons, your ligaments, your bones, your cartilage, and most of all, the appearance, your youthful appearance and vitality uh, in your skin. So bone broth is definitely a uh, type of food. It's really a broth a soup that you can make, you can add to different types of foods. It has collagen in it, uh, collagen type one, and it's really great for the skin and for your muscles, your bones as well. And then we are talk about omega-3 fatty acids quite often. It is an essential uh, fatty acid that helps support the body in, um, and reducing inflammation and re inflammation in the entire body, including in the skin. So wild salmon is very, very great. Um, you can grill this or bake it in the most healthiest ways to do that is really in an oven or on a stove top. And Corella. Corella is a uh, kind of uh, seafood, an algae that grows in the ocean. It's pretty much very green and has a lot of um, beta carotene in it and uh, really some excellent place uh, things in it to repair and rejuvenate and regenerate the uh, collagen that's needed in the body. Then citrus foods, um, they have lots of vitamin C as well. And it was really important collagen um, vitamin C is very important for collagen or production of collagen so anything around citrus um, oranges you can even use um, take supplements vitamin C if oranges and different types of citrus foods affect your digestive system and leafy greens. I can't stress leafy greens any more than I have in the past. It's um, it's really great to eat uh, bok choy, uh, arugula, kale, broccoli, and um, green beans as well. And eggs. Eggs are full of sulfur that really helps support the liver health and it also is great loads of uh, sulfur that is important for collagen production. And an avocado. I'm, I don't know anybody that doesn't like or enjoy avocado. It, it has loaded with antioxidants, has lots of vitamin E in it, and vitamin E is important for our aging process, including our skin. So definitely avocado. You can use avocado any way you can because it also helps with weight uh, in reducing metabolism or lowering the metabolism of your body so you can get the benefits of having good weight uh, in overall weight. And pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are very rich in zinc which is um, really important because you know zinc supplements may help slow down the rate of collagen uh, breakdown. So pumpkin seeds is definitely something that you can start, you know, snacking on on a regular basis. You can sprinkle it on any uh, salt on it. You can roast it, your pumpkin seeds, sprinkle cinnamon on it, and snack on it on a, a regular basis. It's also very low carb uh, kind of snack as well. And garlic. Garlic is um, loaded with sulfur and sulfur is also important for collagen production and uh, it's a trace mineral 
uh, sulfur is, and it helps prevent the breakdown of collagen. So excellent garlic uh, if you can tolerate it, if you like it. You, you know, garlic also has so many different amazing benefits. So yeah, uh, garlic is definitely something that you can use in all your foods. And chai seeds. Chai seeds are excellent plant-based uh, source of omega-3 essential fatty acids. It helps with the anti-aging process and the uh, breakdown, helping prevent the breakdown of skin cells in the body and on, in your skin as well. So really great foods and supplements that really can help with your anti-aging um, journey, if that's something of an interest to you. I think it is for most people, especially women, who are looking to uh, live a, not only a, a youthful kind of appearance, but also feeling, feeling very healthy and youthful on the inside as well as the outside. So I hope this video was really beneficial for you. Don't forget that if this is a really good video and you're interested in it, then hit that bell and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and get notified every time I have a new video coming out. And take a look at my other videos for any other health problems that you are suffering from and any other things that you're looking to get better health and go on to a more alternative uh, lifestyle and a holistic lifestyle or holistic approach to your wellness. Thanks so much for listening and I will definitely talk to you next time in the next video. Bye now.